All right, what's up, guys? I'm here with my boy, Ulysses. Just joined the team, my, my real estate investment company, about a week and a half ago. I met Ulysses back at my buddy Krista Shark's event, the first real estate event I ever went to. It was back in February 2020. Uh, the event was called Accelerator. It was an intense sales event for real estate wholesaling. I met Ulysses there. Uh, I had not even done my first deal yet. Um, and we actually got along really well when we first met. Here we are, you know, two and a half years later. And he just joined my company. So we're going to talk a little, little bit about his background and how he got here. So when did you start wholesaling, buddy? So I started wholesaling in 2019 is when I first got introduced and started wholesaling. Okay. Do you remember what month? Um, it must have been like February or so. February. Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you to get your first deal? It took me about six months to get my first deal. Wow. Okay. And what marketing channel were you utilizing at that time? Right. So at the time, my marketing channels uh, were very limited. I just was strictly cold calling people. I had about two cold callers cold calling for me and I was just trying to wrap up the, the leads after that, you know? Okay. So during that time frame of six months, you're utilizing cold calling. How much do you think you spent on marketing with those two cold callers during those six months? Do you remember? Right. So my, my marketing budget was about $2,000 per week. Per week. So you're spending eight grand a month for yes. six months? Yes. Fuck. Without getting a deal done. Without getting a deal done. Fuck. Yes. That goes to show you guys how brutal this business is and how tough it is. And why do you think it was difficult to get a deal in those six months? Um, I really don't come from any sales background and there wasn't as much sales training as there is available today for wholesaling or for uh, negotiating real estate. So it was just failing forward, failing forward, you know? Okay. All right. So six months, you get your deal and do you remember what your first uh, assignment fee was, what your, what your profit was? My first assignment fee was about $10,000. 10000 so here you are buried $8,000 a month for six months, right? Uh, and then you make a, a $10,000 assignment fee. Right. Okay. So you're in what, what is that? Um, what is that? Like close to 40 grand or whatever yeah. that you spend. So you're still negative, like 30 G's. Yep. Okay. And my math is horrible right off the <laughs> bat like that, but we're, we're, we're kind of rounding it off. So you got about, okay. So you're still in the whole 30 grand. So what happens in the next few months in 2019. Did you come back from that? Did you keep paying that much money in marketing? Did you start getting deals? What happened? Then? Right. So I scaled my marketing down because I realized I was just wasting a bunch of leads. So I scaled it down to about $1,000 a week. Um, and I just stayed consistent. And in the next couple of months, I was able to do four deals in that one first year span. Okay. And your average deal size you had mentioned was 10,000? Yes. So do you think at this point you're flush or not even you're still in the hole? Right. At right? this point, I'm just about to break even, you know? Okay. You're about to get reimbursed. Yeah. Dude, I've, I've went through all that. Yeah. I've went through all that. And I'll talk a little bit about it. Um, I can't share too much because, you know, I got to keep the content pumping. Mm -hmm. But I'll share a little bit about that at the end. So, okay. So, in 2020, we met in February at the yes. event. Um, I actually learned about wholesaling. I ran into Krista Shark through Jordan Balfour's podcast. And yeah, I messaged uh, Chris. I was nobody on Instagram. So he didn't take me serious, you know? But he's like, dude, pay the money, come to the event. You'll learn everything. Stop asking questions. All right, cool. So I do. Um, so then what happens in 2020 after the event? Um, I know you had some success after that. Yeah. Because we stayed in contact. Yeah. Right? So after the event, I, um, I'm still working at my nine to five, my regular job. What were you doing? We got to tell everybody what you were doing. <laughs> I was a fireman, I was a firefighter. So I, I was working, you know, 15, 20 days a month and on my days off, even while I was at the station, I'm just calling leads, calling leads every chance I get. Uh, we get a call and I tell, I tell the lead like, hey, uh, I think a fire alarm is going off. I'll be right back. And I'd, I'd go on a call and then I'd come back and try to get them on the phone, you know, later that day. So I'm building momentum, building momentum that next year. Um, I'm able to do about 10 deals that next year. Okay. So let's talk about your marketing channel in 2020 when you started right. seeing some success. Was that through cold calling or did you change your marketing strategy? So I changed my marketing strategy from cold calling to direct mail. Direct mail. Okay. And is that where these 10 deals came from in yes. 2020? 
Yes. Okay. And what was your average deal size at that point? And what was the expense from cold calling compared to direct mail? Right. So direct mail is definitely a lot more expensive, but I was noticing that the quality of lead I was getting was a lot better. People were more motivated, more willing to sell their property. Um, and that also brought my average deal size from about $10,000 to 15, almost $20,000 a deal. Okay. So I think this is what everybody has to realize. The more expensive the leads are, the better quality you're going to get. Now, I'm going to pause right there because we have cold calling really dialed in. Yes. That's my specialty marketing channel right now, as you well know, since you joined my, my, my organization. So we have that really dialed in. And I'm gonna, we'll talk a little bit about that at the end as well. But for the most part, that's the golden rule. The more expensive the leads are or the more expensive the marketing channel is, the better the leads are. The easier it is to get 100%. the deal done and convert it faster, 100%. right? So let's, uh, let's move on to 2021. What happened in 2021? Right. So 2021, as we all know, the pandemic hit the world. Um, I'm still a fireman and I'm working 27, 30 days a month. So I had to shut down my business because there's just no way I'm working this much, you know, with everything going on in the world. There's no way I'm able to keep up with everything. So I shut my operation down in 2021. In 2020, when you got your 10 deals, I know COVID was already in full effect and it was pretty scary during those months. What months did you get your deals that you noticed that COVID affected you? Um, COVID didn't affect me till the end of 2020, you know, because um, there was a lot of unknowns with the COVID and everything like that. So nobody really knew what was happening. Um, and I think a lot of people wanted to cash out on their house before everything. So I think that kind of helped me get the deals done. Um, but 2021 hits, everything's full pandemic, you know, the world shut down. I'm working, you know, 30 days a month as a fireman. So I'm just not able to keep up. So I just decide to cut my losses. You know, I yeah. made a little bit of money, you know, that month. So I'm grateful for that. But I just decided to shut everything down in 2021. Okay. What do you think you profited in 2020 uh, th through your mail, through the mail campaigns? What do you think you spent compared to profit? Do you think you were in positive or were you still negative? Yeah, so in 2021, I was able to actually come out of the negative and actually profit. I profited somewhere around like fifty to $60,000 that, that, that year, year from wholesaling. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so in a nutshell, what I'm seeing is that cold calling, you were negative and you were barely starting to, to, to make yourself flush and break even. Right. And then in 2020, you change up your marketing, um, channels you start investing in more expensive marketing you move to to mail campaigns and you got some sales training you started learning more about you know how to close a deal you did better and now you're in positive in positive uh profits so at the end of 2020 you end up shutting down because you know work so what happened last year in 2021 with you being a firefighter and you know getting back into business right so last year what happened is you know, I'm still just a fireman. Um, nothing, nothing's really kind of planning out the way I've envisioned my life to go. I'm kind of at a place where, you know, I'm fed up, you know, with where leadership and management is going in my view. So, you know, in November of 2020, I just quit cold turkey. You know, I quit cold turkey. I quit my job. I decided, hey, I'm going to bet on myself. So I quit that. I bet on myself. And that's when I got into selling life insurance. Okay, and that was last year? That was last year, November of last year. November yes. of last year, okay. So you have, you have what, um, about six months yeah. doing that now? Yeah. All right. So between November when you got into life insurance and, you know, bumping back into me a couple of weeks ago, what made you decide to just leave life insurance and get, get back into real estate? And I guess more importantly, my question is, what made you want to jump in with me? Gotcha. Yeah, no, so I'm selling life insurance and stuff is going okay. It's not going bad at all. Um, but the problem is it's just not what I want to do. You know, it's uh, the way it's I see fulfilling. it. Is, it's not fulfilling. And I'm never going to become a millionaire or get the dreams that I want to do selling a smaller ticket item. So I got to move on to bigger, better things. Um, that's when we link up, you know, and I know one of the fastest ways of getting where you want to go is aligning yourself with the right people, having the right people in your corner. Um, so that's when we linked back up and then I saw the whole operation. I was like, Hey man, you know, the fastest way to get where I want to go is to partner up with yourself. You know, so that's when I decided to join up and join the team. Okay, good. Well, thank you for putting your confidence in me. Now that I know you want to be a millionaire, 
it's going to be my job, my duty, and my privilege to, to help you get there. All right? So I can't do it for you, but I can sure as hell help you. Right. All right? And I'll do everything from, from on, on my end to make sure that you get there. Um, I actually needed you. My sales team has been a little, a little weak. Uh, I think with bringing you on and giving you all the resources, whatever guidance I can, and just helping each other grow, uh, same thing with building our team. I mean, and, and just so they know, uh, in a week and a half that you've been with me, what have you noticed is my strongest marketing channel that I'm an expert at? Our strongest marketing channel is going to be cold calling right now, which is okay. my weakest marketing channel. Okay. So real quick, I'm just going to explain to the people why it's our strongest marketing channel because we're very, very targeted and we're very specific on these deals that we're getting there. That's the power behind it, okay? Now, we charge a lot of money for this information. I'm giving it out because for the people that follow us, I'm giving it out to you guys for free. That's the reason why it's the most powerful marketing channel for me as of right now. Now, we anticipate that that's gonna change in the next six months because we are gonna tweak our strategies a little bit so we're going to have to keep you posted on that. But let them know the damage that we've done literally in a week and a half since you joined me. And let them know what we've locked up. Let them know, um, you know the profit margins that we're anticipating. And just let them know what we're planning on doing to finish this month strong. Yeah, so in a week and a half, I've been able to lock up two deals. Uh, we're projected to do about $100,000 on those two deals. Just about just about a hundred thousand. Uh, we're waiting back on a couple contracts right now to lock up, and that would be projected almost two hundred thousand. And our goal for this month is to hit about four to five hundred thousand. Boom. So I'm not gonna share this, but just so you guys know, off of whatever net profits he brings into the company, be it a wholesale, be it a wholesale deal, be it a flip or whatever it is, getting creative with whatever deal we have. It's a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of fucking money. So I anticipate him being a millionaire very fucking quickly. So thanks, Ulysses. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, brother. Let's fucking kill it. Let's, Let's do, do big it. things. Let's get it.